Okay, so I'm about to attempt to glue this puzzle that I just put together, uh, glue it together, and then after it dries, I'm going to uh, glue it to this poster board here, and then hopefully I'll be able to frame it after that. Now, I read about this technique um, somewhere online. I'll try to uh, post a link in the description. But basically, it said that uh, you know, I've read different things about, you know, using lacquer and different methods, but so far the easiest and cheapest way that everyone seems to agree on is just using regular uh, Elmer's school glue with a little bit of water to kind of thin it out a little bit. And you basically just use that on both sides. Um, and then you should it should be pretty firm and you'll be able to frame it. So uh, I'm about to mix this together and then we will attempt to spread it on there. I don't have a brush. Everyone recommended using a paintbrush, but I figured this would probably work pretty good. Just a, uh, you know, kind of a plastic uh, business card that should work, I believe. Um, yeah, and in case you didn't realize it, uh, let's take a look at the actual puzzle because I haven't actually made a video about this puzzle that I put together. You couldn't, yeah. So we've got Wally, -E, Ratatouille, Cars, Monsters Inc., Toy Story 1, Bugs Life, Toy Story 2, The Incredibles, and then Finding Nemo there in the middle. So when I saw this puzzle, I thought it was really cool and I just had to have it. Um, and then once I finally put it together, <laughs> which it took a little bit longer than I'd like to admit, you know, being a thousand pieces, um, I just thought it looked uh, good enough to frame. So I'm going to attempt to do that now and stay tuned to see the final result. Alright, now for the second step, I'm going to try to glue the puzzle to the poster board with just regular Elmer school glue. Um, hopefully let that sit for an hour or so and then we'll be ready to uh, frame it up. magazines here. Uh, I'm going to kind of place them on here just to add just a little bit of weight to kind of sink in any pieces that might be poking out. Especially here in the middle where we have a little bit of separation. All right, now we'll let that dry for an hour or two, then we'll frame it, and then we will be good to go. All right, it is time to frame this bad boy once and for all. I got this um, 22 by 28 inch uh, frame from Walmart. I think it was like $12, so pretty, pretty affordable. Try not to scratch the plastic.
guys, there it is framed. Um, all in all, with the frame and the two dollars of Elmer's glue, we're looking at like fifteen, sixteen dollars worth of materials. So fairly cheap. But uh, <clears throat> now for the moment of truth. And it looks like it's holding, so that is very cool and very exciting. Let's see if we can get this a little better shot of it. So yeah, I am really happy with the way this turned out. Um, probably going to have to get a couple more of these. Um, you know, not this same puzzle, but a few more... Uh, you know, thousand piece or so puzzles to put together, maybe a Star Wars one, we'll just have to see. But uh, yeah, so that wasn't too bad. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.